my opponent was ready.
Okay, um, UGA Season 4 Final. We play versus Archery, coach of the Miami Finns. Um, he's the champion of the Kanto division. Um, yeah, everything should be set up correctly, I hope. Um, I will go through his team in a second. I'm um, just sharing the, the stream link real quick. The stream will be on, on the YouTube channel later on as a VOD. Um, but he streams, so I thought, like, let's stream as well. Why not? Um, but I have a delay. Just for, for safety. And I will not go into the... Like, I will not answer any comments um, while streaming, because I have, I have to concentrate on the, on the match. Um, yeah, so his team contains uh, Electrode, like, like the Kanto Kentonian Electrode. Um, Iron Jugglers, um, Hexorus, Paldarian Towers, and then he also has like um, Stantler, which is uh, kind of interesting, Skelly Dirge, Glaceon, um, Clovitzer, Impidim, Mudsdale, and Bronzong. So, pretty bulky team overall um, really special offensive in my opinion but overall um, that makes like Ting Lu way better in this matchup overall and yeah I, I like I assume him to bring like I assume he brings um, like Skelly Dirt because he brought Skelly Dirt pretty much the whole season. Um, Mudsdale, I think Mudsdale will come as well. Um, I, s I fear, like he didn't bring Clawitzer and Glacian a lot, but I fear them because they are, like they look really good into my match, but I have some text for them, like Petroberry Arcanine for example, specifically for that. And yeah, let's uh, let's see how, t how this goes. Uh, I already sent him the code. <coughs> I feel pretty confident um, because I like I built a l I prepped a lot for this match um, when a lot of cards had um, a lot of different team versions with similar mods. Like um, I knew re I knew really quick which Pokemon I want to use. Like. At first, I was like, it was it, like it was between eight Pokemon, um, and five of them were clear to me from the first, from the very first uh, thought, and uh, the last Pokemon was like between three different Pokemon, but um, overall, I think I brought the right six, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Like my, the, the three Pokemon I assume he will bring definitely is a Bronzong, Mudsdale, Skater. There was no match where he didn't bring all three of them. Um, I think Jugglers with Rain Dance next to Clovitzer can be really scary. Glacian, as I said. Um, Pedal and Taos could be, could be scary. I guess a lot of Pokemon that could become really scary. But uh, I feel prepped. I feel really, really well prepped for this matchup. Um, yes, let's see how this goes. Good luck, have fun, and yeah. Let's see, let's see. What he brings to the table. He's, I think he's still, um, like, selecting the correct team. I assume. Okay, here we go. No Glacier, no... Um, Clovitzer. Really interesting. No Hexorus as well. Okay, that's good for me. 
Because Hexos is a physical mon that could become scary for me. Yeah, the Electrode is interesting to me. Uh, not a mon I anticipated. But we'll see how this goes. Um, I have multiple lead options. Uh, I'm like I think he will assume Tinglu Arcanine. But honestly I don't see what he could do with that. Don't think there's too much he can do with it. Like he could screech with with the electrode throw. But that's really it. Go with these four. Taurus Electrode. Okay, let's see. What, which one is faster? His Taurus is faster than my Arc. Kinda, uh, kinda sad. Not gonna lie. What's that? White Herb. Okay, this screams to me that he wants to screech and like close combat my Arcanine slot, if I had to guess. So I kind of want to do this and switch out into Slow King. Because I don't think these guys can do too much versus my Tinglu, honestly. Yeah, and I don't want to risk my Arcanine. I put Sloking specifically as a switch into close combat. Okay, we Terra first, so he does not Terra. Which means I think we should definitely KO him with, with uh, a Terra Blast. Although... No, no, I, I, prepped, I, I only cut for plus one to KO, right? Okay, yeah, there's the screech, as I expected. Um, let's see, what does he do? Close combat, perfect. Okay, so th this does a lot. But with the minus one, we should KO. At least I hope. Perfect, perfect. And yeah, he's definitely adamant and... Although maybe not definitely, but he's, he's... I think he's adamant. At least he has a lot of attack investment. That's for sure. But the sloking, the sloking switch was perfect, because we also have regenerator, which means we can just switch it out next turn. Okay, this went as good as I could have asked for. And yeah, like Terra Blast is at max attack and uh, near guaranteed KO. Okay, there's a Juggalus. Booster energy. Special attack, I assume. Yeah, special attack. Okay, um. I know that he will probably have a Terra. But. I, I, I could just double protect the scout, I guess. It's not, not There's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, yeah, there's honestly there's no downside to do this. Cause this way, and I, I like I I can scout for a Terra on his end. Cause I, I I can't see him like letting me just KO him with, with Terra plus Fury. Although this won't one shot, but it would do, would do a lot of damage. Let's see, maybe it's Steel. 
No, he's fair as well, okay. Okay, um, let's see what this Iron Jugglers wants to do. The good thing is, like, Electro... Oh, the, yeah, it le doesn't metal sound, right? Yeah. But that's weird. I have clear amulet, you can't drop my set. Okay, Dark Pulse. Um, I think I will throw chop the electrode because this way it cannot use metal sound. The question is, do I need my slogan? Because he could just screech and do some shit into like he could he could screech dark pulse into my slogan. And I don't think I need I need it as much as I need my arcanine, so we'll just. I think I will just uh, try to trick room. Because I don't want to switch Arcanine into like Metal Stone Dark Pulse. Especially not with a like special attack boost. Yeah bro, I have clear amulet, you cannot drop my stats. Okay, um that's fine. That's fine. I could have switched into Arc pretty easily. But as I said, like I didn't want to risk it and now he cannot use any sound based moves. Which means this electrode is kinda useless right now. We terra blast this. Um, do we howl or do we flare blitz? Mm, I kinda like I kinda like both options, honestly. Flabbit is better overall because it does more damage. I think I want the damage. Yeah, this T bolt doesn't do a shit. EP does a lot, but not too too much. Let's hopefully we uh, we might KO ourselves. No, we don't. Okay, perfect. Because like Terra Blast uh, with with Howl would not have done enough damage. And this way we don't reveal Howl. Okay, perfect. Second KO for Tinglu. Yeah, as I said, like he does not have like he, he doesn't have Tinglu matchup at all. Yeah, and like this Electro is completely useless. Um I throw up specifically for Screech, Metal Sound, stuff like that. And of course like the the Skelly Dirge. There's much there. Okay, um I think what I want to do now is Throat shop the electrode for a KO. And I think I want to switch Arcanine out into Abuliva to get a second intimidate off and to burn this burn this match there because if if we if I stay in he will just T bolt me for a KO. Um which I don't want to. And I KO this electrode because um, I don't want to proc like stamina. T-Bolt doesn't do anything. The only way you could have punished this is by close combat, but I will survive close combat. Okay, third KO for Tinglu. Oh yeah, he has, he has aftermath. Yeah, I, I have to keep that in mind. Heavy slam. Doesn't shouldn't do too much. Yeah, no, that's nothing. 60... No, 42 damage. Okay, um... I don't want to reveal Taunt, honestly. I don't have to reveal Taunt. I could Giga Drain here. Like, there's no reason to click Leech Sheet here, because Giga Drain in terrain just does too much damage for this monster to handle. It, it would be interesting if I outspeed, because I'm I'm invested to... Like, I outspeed much that that's not speed invested, yeah, I outspeed it. That's definitely a sword vest, by the way. Heavy slam. Yeah. Think they won't get a, another KO, but uh, that's fine. Okay, we didn't show 
taunt, we didn't show too many information. Okay, very very strong win for game one. I'm so glad I changed my thing to form um, like a defensive left of us set to this clear amulet set. Like clear amulet was so so good. Especially like the turn where he forgot about it. Although it didn't really matter because I didn't switch and like Electrode couldn't touch couldn't do too much to me anyways. Like Electrode was kinda dead weight for him. Um what could he bring instead? Like maybe the bronzer? But if he doesn't have mental herb, bronzer is completely useless because I will just taunt him. Oh by the way he didn't bring impedent, right? Yeah, so I was right to, to drop brick break. I had brick break on Hariyama for a very long time. To break the screens, um, but I was like, I don't need it. I don't need it. Let's just drop it. Um, speaking of Ark, speaking of Hariyama, I think it could be a really good option here. I could go like Thing Do once again. There's nothing wrong about that. Especially could I, because I could see him leading it with the trick remote this time around. Like he doesn't have anything for Thing Do. Like it, honestly, it's, 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 it would be stupid to not eat Tinglu, honestly. But do I want to lead it with Arcanine again? Because Arcanine in the back is also really, really good. I could, like, I, I could see him like, what was it? What was his lead be? What would his lead be? I mean, there's nothing that really scares off Arcanine too, too much, right? The only thing is like, if he leads like Juggalus plus Electro, he could just Metal Sound. And KO anything around Tinglu, uh, which kind of makes me think um, maybe Abu is a good call because could 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 take an attack. But Hayama would be good for that as well because we could um, play around stuff. Hmm, I'm not too sure about this. Maybe, maybe, like, Trick Room Lead would have been good as well. I, I'm not too sure if he brings, like, um... Like, uh, Electro Wound again. But, as I said, like, like... Targeting around Ting Lu with, uh, with Metal Sound could be scary. And with Hariyama I at least have Fake Out and the next, the upcoming turn I Protect. Yeah, there's Juggler's Electro. So what I will do now is, I will fake out the Juggalus and like throat chop um, the hell out of this electrode. Although there's honestly no need to fake out because I could just detect. Although the next turn I could just switch Ark, switch Hariyama out, right? Yeah. Fake out now, uh, as he does anything with Mariyama. This way I also don't reveal Protect or Detect. Okay, he switches Electrode out. So, was. Okay, good switch, good switch. The only issue is now I don't have Trick Room um, on my end for this match, which might bite me in the butt. Terrablast definitely KOs Mahariyama, right? Hmm. 
No, not guaranteed, Professor of Rune. So I'm leaning towards Terra Blasting. And I could, I could CC. But at the same time, like switching to Arc is pretty safe. Yeah, no need to risk my my uh, Hariyama here. Hariyama is too good uh, for, for, as a late game option. And like CC doesn't do trick here because it's Terra Fairy. White of activates. Let's see, does he have something like Iron Head? No, he has White Shot. Terra Blast. Okay, perfect. Perfect switch for me. Yeah. Yeah. Really good defensive switch. Okay, this won't KO, but it will do a lot. Oh, it, it does. Okay, it does. So this Taurus is not bulky at all. Because, like, normally only plus one should KO on bulky Taurus, but this Taurus doesn't have any bulk. As it seems. Alright, alright, that's really good. That's really, really good. Because Electro literally cannot touch my my, my, my Tingnu. It cannot touch me at all. Like, Thunderbolt doesn't do a shit. I'm glad I brought uh, Arcanine. Like, the, the defensive switch is really, really very well. Uh, I didn't feel like I need Trick Room for this matchup. Let's see. Okay, that's, that's Electrode. Um, the issue is I don't have Protect on my Arc. But I think, like, I could just... I mean, I could double, I could double the Iron Juggalus. Honestly, like, I don't see, I don't think there's any anything wrong about that. Like, as I said, like, I, I don't have to care about Electrode. I, I can, I can just, um, throw, throw trap at any point on it. Like, next time, for example, I could just, um, protect with, with, with the partner and throw trap the, the Electrode. Yeah, Dragulus will get a KO now on Arc. But that's absolutely fine with me. Another one will KO. Like maybe even maybe even Fake would could KO from this range. Although I think the play here is switch into Arbo, uh, protect and metal uh, protect and throat spray the, the electrode. Because then next turn he cannot KO my Arbo lever because like Air Slash does won't KO my Arbo lever. Um, because I'm pretty specially defensive. And if he protects Electrode now, um, I will just set Kariyama next turn and KO Iron Juggalus. But he didn't protect, so that's perfect. Because this way we will just... Oh, there's a Thunder Wave, okay. Playing the Hex game, I, I see that. Okay, okay. Getting parity would have been really scary. Um, I will double the jugglers. Because as I said, like I don't care I don't care what this electrode does. Like at all. Yeah, and I will I will one shot Master with no, actually I won't one shot Master with Hariyama because I don't have Terra. But uh, doesn't matter. Okay, T wave. Yeah, like I think hexing me is just only out. Um, I can respect that. Dark bolt. Okay, doesn't have air slash. Okay, then then like I don't think he can kill me. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw that he has protect. Yeah, he doesn't have air slash, so he cannot touch my, my Abu Liba. Okay, fifth KO for Tingru. Yeah, like, what was his game plan versus Tingru? Like, for real, I don't see it. Tingru's crazy, man. Like, this is the best matchup for Tingru I could have asked for. Yeah, I think I think we have this, guys. Like, we have. Full HP Ting Lu, full HP Arbo. Oh, it didn't KO. Oh. Oh. But I think I think it doesn't matter. I what does Electrode really do? Skelly Dirge. Okay, if, if, if there's one Pokemon that could bring this home, it's, it's Skelly Dirge. But I have Hariyama with, um, with, with an attack in the back. Um, Electrode is still throat, throat, throat dropped, um, so I think I will throat drop the Skeletor to prevent it from doing, um, from going for Torch Song and Giga Drain the Electrode for a KO. T Vault. Yeah, Throat Trap is so goaded in this matchup. Torch Song. Yeah, I like. If I get this off, um, yeah, now he cannot Torch Song anymore. And Hariyama will just come in and KO'd. Okay, this is a little bit annoying, but what, what can you do? I will target the Electro because I know it can protect. And I will protect on Arbo because uh, of Metal Sound. Now it's time to KO this Electrode. Yeah, it's a cool set. Like, with Spirit and Metal Sound, it can really combo with. Um, all the attackers? Oh, it has slack off, okay. But, honestly, like, he cannot, he, like, he cannot use Torch Strong, right? So I don't think he can touch my, my... I believe I know that I think about it. At some point I have to get rid of this electrode, but uh, oh he misses. That's unfortunate for him. I don't know if he... Wait, he could, he could use Torchon? Doesn't Torchon get blocked by... Um, by Throat Drop? I don't know if he has White Lands, because if he had White Lands... Um, Missing medicine would be really, really unfortunate on his end. Okay, what do we do now? Um, I think I want to get rid of the electrode. Although, like, if we if we hit Skelly, it's over. But at the same point, if we hit electrode, he cannot. Okay, oh my, Hariyama, I think. No, no, then he cannot kill my Hariyama. But I think it's best to get rid of this electrode. No. Yeah, Slack of is the play because um, he cannot kill my Tingdo right now. But yeah. 6k for Tinglu. Luckily we survived the aftermath. Like aftermath does, I believe. 
one fourth of the of the HP of the user. If, uh, like if I KO with a physical move, I take one fourth of my HP as damage. I think this is how it works. At least I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Um, the scary part now is, like, I could actually lose this, right? Like. If he if he's able to torch strong, I could lose this because then he's plus three and then plus three would KO Arkan uh, would KO my would KO my um uh, Mariama. He will definitely not use uh, slack of so it doesn't Oh I could have side pull and puffed. Oh that's, that's kinda that's kinda sad. Side pull and puff would have been the play here. But maybe, maybe, maybe he drops to left or right. Although, like, if he if he attacks next turn, he will drop to left or so he has to slack off. Which means I have a free side pull and puff. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I don't think he can win this. No, no, there's no way. Even if he KOs Ting Lu this turn, and I get like even if I get full parrot and he slack uh, slacks off. Although, uh, let's let's not speak it into existence. If I like, if I get full power with both and he stacks off, this could become an issue. But no, thing lose the gold. Okay, GG's. Holy shit! What a t what a game! Seven kills for Thing Lu. Holy shit! Oh man! Like the thought process was. As long as he's only at plus two, like Hariyama survives an attack, and I will just um, obliterate him with headlong rush. Oh, so the only way this could have gone wrong is if I get full power with both this turn. Um, because if I get full power on Ting Lu, I just side point puff, and next turn he cannot KO me with with Skelly Dodge, and then he like needs to full power me, me again because throw Shop does too much. And stuff like that, and Lichi is ticking on him. Um, yeah, but if I would have been full powered on both, he could KO Tinglu with a torch strong, and then plus three might KO. Actually, like it depends on his spread, but if he's max special attack, plus three should KO Mariama. Um, actually, he doesn't need a lot of attack to, to KO me, like. Yeah, I don't know how much investment he has, but 156 has, has a 25%. Okay, he has to be close to max special attack to guarantee the KO, and even then it's only 60, 2 out of 3 chance to Okuma Ariyama. So, actually, like, this game wouldn't have been over. Like, if he KOs anything but, I believe that this game would be over, but I, I, I don't care. Like, we won 3-0. We got our title, our title back. Yes, two-time UTI champion. Perfect. Uh, GG to Archery. Um, I think this was like a nightmare of a matchup. Like his team has his main his main attackers are special attackers, and they just cannot touch like Ting Lu. Like if if we learn one thing about this season is it's uh, Ting Lu is untouchable by special attackers. Like as you have seen, like plus two like plus two attacks, like plus one attacks. Ting Lu just doesn't care. Like, it just doesn't care about anything. Oh my lord, oh my lord, let's see, let's see. Um, my lord, I'm, I'm going through the comments now, okay. Um, good luck, thanks, thanks. Um, change to Charizard, charge to Charizard, yeah, perfect. Normal electrode, yeah, perfect game plan, thanks. Wanna try beat my dragon gym? Sure, why not? Drop a, uh, DM me on, DM me on, um, DM me on, um, on Discord. It's that simple. Either DM me on Discord or DM me on um, on Twitter, and uh, I'm, I would be glad to to, fe to, be to beat your to, dra to beat your Dragon Jump. Um. Oh, that's crazy. Bellyboot once again was useless. Man, it's, it's so sad because I was like like Bellyboot at first I had Hexers. And then I, I I was like, wait, if he goes 
Rain Dance Iron Juggle is next to like um, like Choice Bags, um, Clawitzer. I don't have anything that takes these water pulses. Then I was like, wait, I have Belly Bolt. And if he leads that, like I could, I could run Belly Bolt with an Assault Vest, Terra Water, and just like Parabolic Charge. And if he attacks me, I, I just double kill him with Parabolic Charge. Like it was perfect. And then he didn't bring it. Sad. Like if he had Clawitzer, like Belly Bolt would have been amazing. Because I also had like, like my, my set was crazy. I also had like um, Acid Spray to combo with my Special Attackers, and I had. Um, Chilling water to reduce the attack, the attack damage of the physical attackers, but speak of the matchup, like, as I said, he has only three physical attackers. Tauros Paldean, Mudsdale, and Hexorus. I mean Bronzong, if, if you want to count Bronzong, but, but Bronzong isn't a threat. Um, and like, CC, like, if I Terra Fairy, Bro Hexorus cannot use stabs, um, Tauros cannot use its stab, Heavy Slam and Gyrobo from um, Bronzong does no damage because Tinglu is so f so heavy and so slow. It, like you saw how much damage Heavy Slam from Mudsdale did, like 40 damage, and Mudsdale is heavier than Bronzong. Like it, it does, it, like it's basically a resisted hit. Um, yeah, like with Taunt I could shut, could shut stuff down. Like, especially like with the, with the clear amulet, like the clear amulet was a game shield. If I didn't have clear amulet, he would intimidate me, he would just cre screech me, he would metal sound me, and uh, like, then he can break Ting Lui, sure. But without, like, without the option to do that, he cannot break it. So yeah, overall, I think, like, this matchup was just uh, kind of doomed for him, um, to begin with. Oh, I'm so, I'm so happy, like, I, I, I went so many kikes, like, it's crazy how many kikes I ran for for this, <laughs> and it paid off. Like I didn't, I didn't need most of the kikes. I didn't need like my Arc Nine to survive choice bags, Terra Water, Aqua uh, Water Pools, and stuff like that. Um, like I was evid to, to live, even without Tinglu, I survived choice bags, Terra Water, Water Pools from modest um, from modest uh, Clovis, uh, like. I was really scared of that thing. And the best part is um, Rex, like Steve um, from Rogue Esport, told me if I win it, he will make a Ting Lu logo for me. And yeah, extra motivation. We won. And I'm super happy to, to get my Ting Lu logo. Also like thanks for Rex too, for the intro, for the for the logo, for for the charging cover dots. Like he made it back in season one and I still use it because it's awesome and yeah he's, he was also like someone who I could message a lot like um, letting him know my, my my building process like my thoughts on the matchup some kikes and especially in the semi-finals um, he, he was like why, why do you don't play like hydro pump on on on, on sloking I think it. I think it was hydro. Like he said, he he suggested something, which I didn't think of, and then I played it, and it was really good for the for the semifinals. Um, yeah, right, 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 right. Torchong didn't like wasn't blocked by a throat tra throat trap, right? I, I, he he was like it was a second turn, right? He could use it for some reason. Although it's a sound based move, it even procs like throat spray. I think it's like. This, the only explanation is I think like Throat Shop was added to the game before Torch Song, and I think they were too stupid or didn't think about implementing um, Torch Song on to Throat Spray. Like, th like they they didn't change the, the code of Throat Spray. Like they didn't edit Torch Song to the moves it blocks. That's the only explanation I have because it doesn't make any sense. Because Throat Spray, Throat Shop blocks every fucking sound based move and a sound based move is a move that's that procs stupid um, throat throat spray and goes around substitute which torch song does so i don't get it why i like they own like they, they have to mess up and it's 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 pokemon like it's game freak i, I wouldn't be surprised if they messed that up um yeah thanks for the support um, super happy and yeah also like 
thanks for for the for the stuff of the UGA um, for another great season like this season was so well um, so well like it was really smooth to play the season the, the the stuff is like they really know what what they do um, thanks to all my opponents I had an amazing season I di like when I drafted this team I, I I was like there's no way I win this season because this draft I think it's not even slightly the strongest draft I ever drafted. Like it's not even close to my season one draft with uh, with the GMX Shadow. That's not even close because it, I'm really limited. Um, I'm really limited in what I can do with it. But uh, I figured ways out to beat my opponents with just out bulking them. And all hate to to King Lu. Like King King Lu showed in the finals why he's the goat, best one of this whole season. Um, Arcanine was really good as well. Like I think my top three months were Ting Lu, then like a billion light years nothing. Um, then like I would say Arcanine. And then I think it's Hariyamo or Abu Liva. Both of them were really really good. Um, adding Sloking was really, really good as well. Like Sloking was a major upgrade, major upgrade to Klefki and Slowpoke. Having an offensive special attacker that can actually use Trick Room and be immune to Taunt while using a good item. But it, it, it wasn't part of the team long enough to to be the goat of the team. Oh no, Vivilon! Sure, Vivilon. Vivi Tinglu, Tinglu number one, Vivilon number two, Arcana number three. Like Vivilon was the goat. After Ting Lu, such a great one, such an such an uh, underlooked Pokemon. Uh, there's a reason why it's, well, it was my second pick, uh, why it was high priority for me. And yeah, I'm really hope, uh, like I'm really looking forward to play season five and um, be the first three-time champion. Like it really bothered me that I got two championships before me, and now we are tied again. Um, so. I hope I hope he plays season five and we can beat him, and uh, hopefully in the finals. Like that would be awesome because I still want to get revenge for him beating me in the in the champions battle, um, the uh, epic enemy-like ending. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.